I have some loose wires connected to my circuit which I will stick into the power plug. As you can clearly see, I have no regards for safety. Sense the temperature of the iron, feeling the hot air rising from the iron by the skin above my lips. Just tighten these nuts here. Let's power it up and see what happens. Oh sh! What did I do? If I can just pass these cables under the table here. This doesn't necessarily hurt you at all if the voltage is set very low. Observe. No! Now I will measure some waveforms. I connected the probe to my output lines, connected my circuit to this power bar, and now I will turn the power bar on. Increase the frequency all the way to 60 hertz. Right now I'm touching the wires and I can't even feel it because the voltage is not high enough. Now I like to use my 100 ohm resistor and connect it to the output to see how the waveform changes. Now I use pliers to hold the resistor. See the output voltage drops, but with very small ripples because there is a lot of filtering. Wow, I was holding that. I let it cool down for a while and So always discharge them with some resistor. It's not the best way to do it, but I'm gonna short the capacitor with a wire. It's okay, it's safe now. We are safe now. Don't touch with your bare hands. Bare hands, bah! Why do you call them bare hands? Now I'll put my finger across the output. See, I can barely feel it. DC is much less dangerous than AC. Barely. What's up with bears in your language? I feel so barely today. Burr. Of course, you can never trust a guy with an accent. It's used to make foam from milk and put it on the stuff you drink. It's actually called a frother. What the f is a frother? Mother frother. <laughs> I'll plug it in. Let's try it out. Hmm, there is nothing. Is there actually a voltage? The tip of the gun here simulates a human finger. You can see how far... This gap is quite wide. Let me measure it for you. I've accidentally touched 120 volt and 220 volt AC and they hurt a lot and can kill. So I'm not gonna repeat that again. The meter on AC and I measure the voltage. Oh my god! These sparks are so strong, they can set a piece of paper on fire. See? Some electricity passes through the hair and it falls out. I assume they use something like a taser that zaps the hair dead. And for that purpose, I'm going to use my homemade taser. Now the circuit is hot and the voltage is on the circuit. Now I have replaced the capacitor on my circuit and I'll plug it in. Now there is nothing to worry about. You see there is 334 volts on this one. Let's touch this one. Ouch! Ouch! Well, this one hurts much more, but not nearly as bad as the 120 volt AC. Let's try the taser now. Now I'll use the taser. Ouch! And let me zap this one. When you press the button, it sparks. It's a very simple and yet effective circuit. Let's turn it on. your cell phone in your mouth so that the sound gets to your eardrums from those other canals. There is no escape from the enemy who lives within. Mm.